Ah. 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 <laughs> yes. Hey, why don't you tell me? It's loaded with poison sumac and and, and and poison ivy. I fell in the lot. I'm covered in it. Anyway. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, I know. Really. Anyway, Paul Catcher off of 43 Byland. Dot com. I'm going to regret it tonight. Anyway, I got a lot to sell you. Lot number 228, section 7. Terrific lot. We don't put out a lot of videos because the market is dropped. You just can't find anything out there. But we're looking hard for you. So we do have one terrific lot you can put an RV on, build on. It is an oversized lot. The average lot is 3,800 square feet in this subdivision that allows you to have that RV with the city sewage and high speed internet. So you're allowed to have all that stuff here. You got all that. You don't got to put a septic tank in. So on this particular property, we have an oversized lot at 4,800 square feet. A little extra land, 20% more, terrific. Easy entrance at the front of the subdivision if you're out there and you're looking for a property. You're coming to the county to get out of the big city, the metropolis, I get it, I'm, I'm with you 100%. You cannot be picky in the country. On this particular lot, you're very lucky. Beautiful lot, great plot. It is a special lot. It's got extra characteristics that you're not gonna find. It's got uh, roads that go around three sides. It's like a peninsula. So what that means is you got two roads to do your development off. Yes, you can cross through. You got a big RV right where I'm standing right now. Just pull right in. This is where the lot line starts. You're gonna enter through here. If you notice at the end of the road, you can see a stop sign. Uh, that takes you right to the entrance. Entrance, if you look at my finger, just two or three rows that way. We're talking, I can walk to the entrance from here. So you're at the front of the subdivision where everybody wants to be. Nobody wants to be in the back of any subdivision in the county because the roads are always really crappy. Roads are getting fixed. I just got an email from the POA uh, last week and they're starting their agenda to do complete road fixing. You know how that goes. Most important thing in property is sewer and roads. But well, these roads are uh, slated to be done. So how does that affect your property value? It's not every day as an investor, I can find properties where a governed body says, hey, tomorrow I'm going in to fix the roads. You buy now, you make three or $4,000 right away. So that's kind of cool, because you know those are rare circumstances you get into, uh, but I, I have the information, I got the email, and they're saying that they're gonna start working on the roads, so that's pretty cool. So, great opportunity, jump in. Here's a lot line, right here. This cuts through to the other street. This road is called Foresters. This is the road that I want you to go on because the road is smooth. You should have relatively zero problems driving your RV from the front of the subdivision down Foresters Retreat. This is the only- Not retreat, just well, Foresters. What's it called? Foresters. 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 Okay, this is the only indentation in the road. And I picked this lot because, you know, it's getting hard. And when I found this lot, I called my tractor guy out. I said, look, you got that little thing in the road. That's that's the only thing, just a scoop of dirt. When you do the lot, you bring your dirt in because everybody has to develop before you bring uh, your RV in. You want to put some dirt there. Just throw something there. And then by my calculations, we're, we're clear sailing all the way to the front. All right, here's the lot line. Um, you know, normally I clear and, and develop my lot. I don't want to do it this time. Uh, I... Let, let me think of a good excuse. Yeah, I'm covered in poison ivy and sumac right now. I'm going to scratch like a like a dog for the next two weeks. I don't want to do it. There's somebody else. Hey, the sumac and the ivy, they, they go with the lot sale. But anyway, uh, this lot is cool because it has two roads. You go from one road to the other. It's your choice where you want to enter from. Uh, I brought my dirt guy in here. I can give him to you. Standard procedure. Bring the dirt in. You got to get a survey. Uh, there are POA fees. How much is this lot per year? Um, three hundred dollars approximately a year. Three hundred? Yeah, ah, that's pretty cheap. Not bad. And your property taxes, roughly the way it is, one hundred and twenty a ah, year. Let's just say four hundred fifty bucks max. Nowhere in the U.S. can you put an RV on a lot, hook it up to utilities, and have a fully operating, full-time residential abode. It's what everybody wants. You can't do it without the city sewage. You can't do it without the perfect scenario. You get you get the high speed internet. You're totally packed here. Is it the prettiest subdivision? No. But it works. So who cares? Come on.
All right, here's our sign. Now, this is the adjacent street. I want to get a gander down there. That is my favorite person in the entire subdivision. He is now the new neighbor, the most wonderful Christian man you've ever met. He has a radio station. Uh, I've listened to his radio station. It's absolutely fantastic. It's not every day that you're going to get into a subdivision and your neighbor owns a radio station. I mean, that's pretty cool. And he is just one of the best of the best. His, his property is immaculate. He's Trump supporter. And he is a patriot. And more importantly, don't look, don't let looks deceive you. The airborne par paratrooper guys, and you'd never see it coming. That man is one of the baddest men on the planet. So anyway, check this out. He's really awesome. But I really like him. He's really inspirational. So what I, 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 I love having my own radio station. You know. Anyway, I cleared up the front. My sign is for, wait, I'm supposed to do some type of little monologue in front of the sign with that. <laughs> ah! Ah! Paul Catcher, 43 by land, the world's greatest sign. I'm gonna lie to you and tell you it's blue, but it's really purple. I don't want a purple sign, they screwed up on the coloring. But the sign is great, it's right here. You can always find the property because it's right next to mine. It says Forrester. Ah! Uh, Go ahead. Slight intermission. <laughs> You know, Steven Spielberg called me, so probably got to talk to you. But anyway, uh, here's our sign, really easy to find. I have the name of the streets right here. So if you look at the, st the, the street sign, it says Deerfield and Forest Crest. Forest Crest jets that way. That's the road I want you to do your lot from. I know the subdivision well. Real easy, smoothest way, cut across there. My dirt guy likes this road to come in on. And I see what he's saying. You have this massively large... Uh, uh, um, easement if you have a 50 foot rv which is really cool this might be the road for you to back the lot on you can go from here to there jet down and go out you can go from that road jet down and go out but you have that choice selection with these lots it's an extra gift look this is a uh, different than other lots you got two roads to work on i look at the plot I, i'm a big stickler on plots guys plot's not bad when you deal with these odd shaped lots well, this is as close to a square as you can get right on the corner. Most of them, you lose all the square footage in the corners. They're triangles or toothed. Now, nice, nice looking plot. I would not sink my money in anything that I did not think was, uh, uh, was something that you would like on the open market that you would accept. So the, the plot's great. There's your markers. We are within two feet of the markers. You are going to have to get a survey one day if you decide to start building a house and that's what you start doing you know there's a subdivision a poa it's a well-run subdivision so if you're going to do that you want to start tomorrow we're going to make sure that we find you the lot that's the survey marker so we found that survey mark we use a satellite app in order to locate all the markers and when they when we can't actually find the survey in the ground our satellite app gets us about that far away so we know, and then you know what you're buying. Obviously, it's easy. It's a peninsula. I mean, look at, you know, you're buying the end of a row. So not too hard, but you'll have to get a survey. My guy, Dave, I supply him for you. One stop, do it all. For those of you who want to develop your lot, you're outside the area. Listen to me. You don't have to worry. You don't got to go looking for contracts. You get gouged. I'm my guy. I can set up so that I can help you without you having to go. You can come in here, total stranger. Total blind, I can hand it over to you. You get great people to work with, done in a month. That easy. So, if you want to develop your lot. Now, oh, I hate I hate garbage, I hate garbage. When I was in the US Army, we didn't have this in the barracks, you know what I mean? So anyway, Paul Catch off at the 423 Violet. It's been a long time since I did another video, and uh, I think I'm like 20 pounds fatter. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Hey, soon. When I'm 70, I'm going to be ripped with a six-pack. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's been really nice. Thanks, guys, for watching my video. We want to sell our lot. Help us. We want to make some money and give you guys a great little vacation spot. Bye. All right, this is about the time where I take the walk through the lot. A lot of the land people, they forget this little important part. You know, well, it's just trees. Well, they're right. I mean, I'm tired of looking at trees. Well, let's get onto this property and see what we have to work. All right. Lot, lot. Lot goes to the corner, street sign, for sale sign is right there. So right here. You got a lot of good frontage on this side of the property. When I walk through the back, I'm gonna try to get an angle. I know how I would do this lot. I'm a cut through guy. I wanna cut through, I wanna utilize that bang for the buck. 
I want to be able to have what other people don't have. So as I'm looking through here, watch this. That's about the marker. I put another marker there. So, right about there is your lot line. Everything that goes that way, okay? So you could do a straight path right here. It's not too dense. Not too many trees need to be taken down. You could do it here. You could do it in there. And guys, you don't have to do a cut through driveway. Not at all. Look, as I walk in this pile of poison sumac, for all you wonderful people, you may not see me for about three weeks, so I'll be scratching. But as you look through here, you can see uh, we started the video over there. And it's got a nice, nice feel to it. My gosh, the biggest, most beautiful pine tree I've ever seen is right there. A massive pine tree, straight as an arrow, must be 70 foot tall, is right there at the front of your ship. That's pretty cool. Uh, you're going to have a couple of trees that will have to be taken down. Uh, please understand, I don't like poison ivy. I'm covered in it. I'm not going to have a good week. But that's okay. Because life goes on. We, don't, we can't find another very much land. And we have something for you to work with. So if you're out there and you want to... Uh, Look at the property, really easy to find. You don't need us to get to the lot. I do this all the time. You wanna meet me out there? Not, not really, that's why I do the video. So you can go out there and you can determine without somebody breathing down your neck. So it's easy to find. If you have any problems, I always represent. I love my business, I represent my business. I not only represent, I will take you to lunch like an executive if I got it. Of course I'm not, you know, I'd rather cut your tree down and take it lunch with. Anyway, Paul Castro, 43 by land. Uh, another wonderful day. I thank God I'm alive. And folks, let's get Trump back in. I'm tired of this. Aren't you? Right now I'm walking with my beautiful compatriot, my lifelong, don't hide from the camera. Don't hide. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Yolette and I are here at section 14. She's somewhere here. Here, let me see. Come on, Yolette. They all want to see you. Anyway, she is actually, uh, she's everything here. So we have a little demonstration today, a little video to upload. All right. Well, anyway, uh, right now she's waiting for the makeup crew and she's the main star of all our videos naturally. But, uh, anyway, stay tuned. Anyway, Paul Katroff with 43 byland.com. My job is never done. People always ask me, Paul, how do you get to learn all these trades and everything that you do? But let me tell you right now, I never stop going because, folks, look, when you do what I do for a living, you got to know how to do it all. Anyway, I got to get busy. Right I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I can't drive that. Anyway, Paul Katroff, make America great again. Seems my truck has come alive. It actually speaks to me. Timing is everything.